Hello and welcome to Crypto Craze, your go-to source for the latest and greatest in cryptocurrency news and education. Buckle up for an intense ride as we take you on a journey through a content-packed video that is not to be missed. So please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn on post notifications. Today we've got some exciting news for savvy crypto investors who are also fans of America's most popular sport, football. Mythical Games has launched NFL Rivals, the first officially licensed NFL crypto game that runs on the Polkadot blockchain. Now, you might be wondering, what's the big deal with a football video game running on a blockchain? Well, for starters, it allows players to own and trade their in-game digital assets, or NFTs, on a decentralized network. But what really sets NFL Rivals apart is its potential to tap into the highly lucrative market of mobile gaming. Mythical CEO John Linden is bullish about the game's prospects, saying that he anticipates it will attract north of 10 million players this year. And with the game's exaggerated arcade-style gameplay reminiscent of classic titles like NBA Jam and Tecmo Bowl, it's not hard to see why. But it's not just the gameplay that's attracting attention. Mythical has an illustrious roster of backers, including NBA legend Michael Jordan and venture capital firm Andreessen Horowitz, who have invested $150 million in the company and created a $600 million gaming fund last year. This shows confidence in the future of blockchain game developers and the potential for the industry to grow. And speaking of growth, Mythical's decision to migrate to the Polkadot blockchain is part of a wider trend of blockchain-powered games choosing not to operate on Ethereum. While Ethereum is the most popular blockchain for elite NFT collections, it costs more per transaction than other blockchains, making it less attractive for game developers who want players to be able to cheaply buy and sell a high number of in-game assets. By switching to Polkadot, Mythical is betting that it will be able to expand both the number of users playing its titles and trading their NFTs. And with a team of video game industry veterans that have worked on top-flight franchises like Call of Duty, World of Warcraft, and Guitar Hero, the company has the expertise to deliver a high-quality gaming experience. So, what does all of this mean for savvy crypto investors? Well, if you're looking for opportunities to invest in blockchain-powered games and NFTs, Mythical Games is definitely a company to keep an eye on. With a valuation of $1.25 billion and the backing of high-profile investors, it's clear that the company has big ambitions for the future of gaming. And with NFL rivals now available on the Apple and Google Play stores, there's never been a better time to jump into the world of blockchain gaming. So grab your digital wallet and get ready to trade some NFTs. The game is on. For our next story of the day, Circle, the creator of US Dollar Coin, has launched a mainnet protocol that lets users transfer USDC between Ethereum and Avalanche. This is a major development in the crypto world, and we're here to break it down for you. Up until now, if Avalanche users wanted to transfer their USDC from Ethereum, they had to deposit their coins with a Circle partner or use a third-party bridge. But with the new cross-chain transfer protocol protocol, this need for USDC bridges is no longer necessary. This means faster, more efficient transfers, and more convenience for users. So how does it work? Well, unlike a traditional bridge, the CCTP protocol doesn't lock tokens sent to its contract. Instead, it completely destroys them and issues new tokens on the receiving network. Users can then redeem these new tokens for bank deposits directly by depositing the tokens with Circle or its partners. It's a simple and effective solution that promises to solve the problem of fragmentation in the Web3 ecosystem. And it's not just the users who will benefit from this new protocol. The team behind CCTP expects that many of the largest cross-chain protocols will use it going forward, including Seller, Hyperlane, Layer Zero, MetaMask, Wormhole, and others. This is great news for crypto investors, as it means that USDC will become less confusing to use and that there will be more opportunities for cross-chain trading. USDC is a fiat-backed stablecoin issued by Circle, which means that each USDC token is backed dollar for dollar in its reserves. 
Users can mint USDC by opening an account and depositing cash with either Circle itself or one of its partners, such as Coinbase. And now, with the ability to transfer USDC between Ethereum and Avalanche using the CCTP protocol, investors can take advantage of this stablecoin on even more networks, including Stellar and Polkadot. Of course, the elephant in the room is the issue of bridge hacks. In recent years, users have lost billions of dollars worth of USDC and other cryptocurrencies due to bridge hacks. But with the CCTP protocol, developers can rest easy knowing that they have a more secure solution for transferring assets between networks. Really quick, guys, it's worth noting that I am not a certified financial or investment advisor by profession. This video should not be taken as financial or investment advice. And now for our last story of the day, we're talking about Twitter and its changing verification program. The blue check mark used to be a sign of notability and authenticity on the social media platform. However, since Elon Musk bought the company, the significance of the blue check mark has been up for debate. Journalists, celebrities, and government figures could apply for a blue check mark without charge as long as they met certain criteria. But in recent months, the rules changed. Twitter now allows anyone to use a blue check mark on their account for an $8 monthly fee. But fear not, for some users are already exploring alternatives to Twitter. Blue Sky, a platform backed by former Twitter CEO Jack Dorsey, is often touted as a decentralized Twitter alternative, opening up the potential for Web3 ideas to reach mainstream users. Dorsey began teasing his plans to build a decentralized social protocol in 2019. In an effort to make the user experience similar, he laid plans to build fundamentals of blockchain technology into the application, including open source hosting, governance structures, and monetization opportunities. In August 2021, Dorsey hired Jay Graber, a blockchain developer and contributor to privacy coin Zcash, to lead Blue Sky as CEO. Over the past two years, Graber and the Blue Sky team have been building out the Authenticated Transport Protocol, or AT Protocol, in order to make social media interoperable and decentralized across different applications united under one ecosystem. In October, when Blue Sky opened the waitlist for its beta, it received 30,000 signups in 48 hours. Our goal is to assemble a social media architecture that composes third-party services into a seamless user experience because an open ecosystem is likely to evolve more quickly than a single approach to curation or moderation developed within one company," said Graeber in a March blog post. By creating the interfaces for innovation in these areas, we hope to provide a dynamic and user-driven social experience. So, what does this mean for crypto investors? Well, with Blue Sky's focus on blockchain technology and decentralization, it could potentially provide a more secure and transparent platform for investors to share information and connect with each other. Plus, with the waitlist for Blue Sky's beta receiving such high demand, there may be potential for the platform to gain traction in the social media market. Make sure to comment down below what video you would like to see next and hit the like button if you learned something new or found the information useful. Also, please consider subscribing if you like this type of content. That's all for now. Until next time, guys.